What's up guys, Klingle here, and I'm just bringing you a little bit more Xbox One PS4 information. I just recently found out that the Xbox One has some improvements over what they originally thought it was going to be. So, Microsoft, and we're not exactly sure why this is the case, but they have 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM, which is slower than the 8 gigs of GD GDDR5 in the PS4, but the Xbox One has 32 megabytes of embedded, embedded static RAM, which is ES RAM, which runs slower, still runs slower than the GDDR5 in the PS4, but instead of having a theoretical throughput of 102 gigabits per second, it, compared to the 176 gigabits per second found in the PlayStation 4, it now theoretically could have 192 gigabits per second. And what they didn't know about the ES RAM is that you can write and read simultaneously. So that really adds a huge functionality to the console that wasn't there before. Now, this is a theoretical theoretical number. Most likely, they're saying it'll run at something like 133 gigabits per second, which is still less than the PlayStation 4, but it's not quite as big of a gap as it used to be. Something about the Xbox One and PS4 that is going to be kind of a problem when the consoles are released is the games that are coming out aren't running at the full capability of the consoles because they've just been in pre-production and, and testing. So we really won't know how good the games are until probably a year or a little bit later after the console cycle so that the game developers can use the full power of the consoles instead of using the pre-production consoles. So really when the consoles are released, it, there's not going to be that big of a difference. Even though the PS4, the specs are a lot better than the Xbox One, we should see a very small gap, if any, between the consoles. So I just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. I know it wasn't the most informative video, but I'm not the biggest biggest nerd when it comes to the the tech stuff i just wanted to let you guys know that the xbox one and ps4 on release date are not going to be that much different in terms of graphics and and game capability really what it's going to going to come down to is if you like the controller better or if you like the exclusives better so guys if you enjoyed this video why don't you go ahead and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more videos thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time